Welcome back to another video. This week's video is going to be a Q&A. I haven't done one of those for ages. The first time that i done one was on the 10th of January 2017. Yeah, I just thought that um, I've gained like 70 subscribers since then. I'm now on 82 when I'm filming this. And currently, yeah, so just for my new subscribers, if they'd want to know a bit about me then, yeah, I thought I'd do a Q&A. So on my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and Snapchat, I put um, like to send me questions. A few people sent me questions, some didn't, but I just made some up that I took from different Q&As. So like what Joe Sugga's done, like Zoella, etc, etc. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoy. If you do, please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for 82 subscribers that I'm on at the moment. I never actually thought that I would get that many. So yeah, let's get into the video. My first question comes from Rhiannon. It is, Mary Mary, quite contrary, how did your garden grow? Very funny. Um, I definitely haven't heard that before and I don't actually have a garden because uh, I live in a flat. So yeah, thanks for the question. I've heard that so many times in my life. How old are you? I am currently 18. Um, in my last q and I was only 16. I can't believe like that I was only 16 in my last q and A. It's gone so fast. What are you currently up to in your life? Um, I'm currently in my last q and I was in my first year at college. Currently in my second year, coming towards the end of my second year. And I'm doing media. Last time I done catering but I didn't get on to level 3 I then wanted to do media because I like just thought that it would be quite a good addition to doing YouTube and it's actually really helped me my short film that I posted not that long ago um, actually was a big help like in media doing media was a big help in doing that short film because it like taught me how to do like scripts and a bit of like camera angles and stuff like that so yeah would you do another what's in my college bag video uh, probably not because now that I'm coming to the end of my college year I don't really need to take a bag and I don't have that much in it at the moment I've currently really only got exam like mock exam papers that I'm doing because my exams are quite soon so yeah don't think I'm going to do one but if you'd like to see one then yeah definitely comment down below or like message me on one of my socials or something what made you start YouTube um I don't know really I think Eve was a big help in this because obviously she was like oh why don't you start YouTube at the time she had a YouTube channel and I believe I was like in one of her videos or something and then yeah I just took it on from there she was in my first video obviously and I just liked it and she's been like a really big help in YouTube because she's been giving me advice and when I have video ideas I go to her and be like oh yeah do you reckon that would be a really good idea and yeah so thanks Eve she like helped me start YouTube who do you look up to on YouTube um, I don't really look up to anyone, but I guess Joe Sugg, because my videos are kind of similar to Joe's, I guess, in the way that I like, I do YouTuber whispers, like, guess the song challenges, like, loads of challenge videos, and that's what Joe kind of does, but I definitely look up to Joe quite a lot, and I get my video ideas from Joe. Where do you see yourself in the next year? Um, this time next year I would like to have a job, like either a part or full time job. Um, I could possibly be doing level 3 at college, I don't know yet because at the moment I'm a bit bored with college so I don't know whether I'll be going back to doing level 3 or get a full time job. If so then yeah, I'd like to be in a full time job. Hopefully these videos have been monetised then so I could possibly be making a little bit of money out of doing YouTube hope so because I really enjoyed doing that this and put quite a lot of time and effort into it so what did you want to be slash do when you were younger 
Um, I wanted to be a chef when I was younger, that's why I'd done catering last year. But I didn't really like a lot of the theory stuff and it wasn't really for me. So I obviously changed to do media. Why do you always go to McDonald's every week? Um, I'm not sure to be honest, but the first time I went to McDonald's every week was with my friend Meg. Um, we'd been like, we have been friends since secondary school and we were just like, all right, that's our meeting point on a Wednesday. So we go to McDonald's literally every Wednesday now. I don't always get something like I can just get a drink or something or just nothing. But yeah, we always go to McDonald's every week. It's just like our meeting point really where we hang out for about an hour or two hours and chill there because it's got free wi-fi and mcdonald's is good food hashtag not an ad if you could marry anyone in the world who would it be <coughs> um i don't know joe sug <laughs> no uh i don't know to be honest like my celebrity crush is i've got I have too many celebrity crushes basically. I've got like Joe Sugg, Zac Efron, Brendan Newey from Panic at the Disco, I've got Connor Maynard, Ed Sheeran. So yeah, I've got about five different people that I would probably marry if I was their age. Hit me up if any of you lot are watching. <laughs> what is your favourite meal? My favourite meal is either lasagna or cottage or shepherd's pie because I just like mince and pasta, I guess. Those are like my two favourite things. So I'd have it with either chips or salad. I quite like salad or chips. What is your favourite video on your YouTube channel? My favourite video on my channel would probably be my short film because that took the most amount of time to do. Even though it got a lot of hate more than, well, it didn't get more than good, but even though it got quite a lot of hate, that was my favourite video to film and it was with like my friends, so it was with obviously Ellie and Eve. Um, and I really enjoyed doing that and I can't wait to do more short films. Or it's both of my vlogs when I vlogged um, like around college, like my time periods of college because it involves all of my friends and I just really enjoy vlogging with my friends. I can't wait to do more vlogs hopefully in the future. What is your favourite Panic at the Disco song? If you don't know, then I am currently obsessed with Panic at the Disco. I mean, obsessed. Like, people on my Snapchat must be bored of listening to Panic at the Disco now because I'm always posting on Snapchat that I'm either watching Panic at the Disco or listening to Panic at the Disco or wanted to go to one of their live shows. Yes, I know I want to go to one of their live shows. Like, their concerts just look so amazing and I want them to come to the UK. My favourite song is Girls, Girls, Boys because it just gives a really good meaning to it and I feel like I know every word to every Panic at the Disco song now. What is your favourite cuisine and why? Um, it would have to be Chinese because I like prong, prong ka, uh. What is your favourite cuisine and why? It would have to be Chinese because I like just eating loads of prawn crackers and the Chinese food is just amazing my favorite dish from there was like sweet and sour chicken i can eat sweet and sour chicken for days happily give me sweet and sour chicken and then we'll just sit there and eat it like honestly <gasps> spring rolls as well just saying spring rolls are amazing why did you stop doing catering and move on to doing creative media i kind of touched on this in one of my previous questions but I didn't get onto level three doing catering last year and I basically appealed to get on. I got the appeal through and I was allowed onto it but I didn't feel like I earned the right to go onto it as in like if I didn't get onto it without appealing then I didn't earn the right to go onto it. So um, I just looked through on the college website and I found creative media and I looked up and I was like, oh right, it does like photography, video editing, stuff like that. And I really enjoyed it and I, it's definitely helped me quite a lot. So yeah, that's basically why. What is the piece of clothing that you would cry over if you lost or it got stolen? My Sug Life hoodie, because I got that for my birthday from my mum 
and it just means everything to me as in like I wear it all the time people will know I wear it all the time I wash it obviously but um yeah I just wear my sub life hoodie everywhere because it's so comfy and it's just it's a little bit too big for me but it's oversized and I love it so much it just means everything to me final question have you ever been to a live concert no I haven't because I just haven't had the opportunity to I'd love to go to a Panic at the Disco concert or an Ed Sheeran concert and yeah I'd just really like to go to one of those too. So guys that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. I'm not too sure how long this is because as I'm filming this it's currently 17 minutes long so it'll probably be about 13 minutes but I'm not sure. But yeah I hope you enjoyed my first proper Q&A because my last one was like only a minute long if you enjoyed please like comment and subscribe thank you as I said before for 82 subscribers it means so much to me and if I ever get to 100 then I can't even like <laughs> um so yeah I shall see you next time probably next week possibly with another video sorry the lighting's changed I'm using natural light yet again so yeah, I shall see you next week with another video. Bye.